And that does it for the news at 10. Next on the KDLA 5 News at 11, after 22 months of investigations, the Mueller report comes to a conclusion. The major victory for President Trump and why Democrats say the battle is still far from over. Also, avocados are under a recall alert tonight. The brand and the date you're going to want to check to avoid getting sick. That's next at 11. Now at 11, a community mourning a young boy as the search for this missing eight-year-old continues with no end in sight. Plus, a California mosque under attack. The hate crime investigation now underway just days after terror strikes the Muslim community in New Zealand. And special counsel Robert Mueller finds no evidence of collusion between Russia and President Trump. The political battle ahead, now on the news at 11. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Chamber. Happy Sunday. I'm Courtney Friel. Tonight, it is becoming clearer than ever that the Mueller report is not an end, but a beginning. Yeah, it's the start of a politically charged fight over how much of this report is going to be released and who's going to get a chance to see it. John Fanulio in the studio with us tonight. He's got the president's reaction and all the late-breaking developments for us. John? Court and Rick, Attorney General William Barr's summary of the Mueller report appears to back up the president's claim that he didn't conspire with Russia. Barr also says the evidence was not sufficient to support a charge of obstruction of justice. But Democrats say they won't be satisfied until the full report is released.